Yeah, so Gia, the governor talked a lot about, uh, like you said, coronavirus, um, but he also he didn't make any big announcements or any big proposals during his speech last night. He really kind of talked a lot about Minnesotans and their importance in fighting the pandemic. What you're doing isn't paralysis, it's action. Staying home reduces face-to-face -face contact and thus the threat of virus transmission by up to 80%. Staying home is the only vaccine we have right now. Governor Walls emphasized that everyone who is following the stay at home order, even if it feels like you're doing nothing, you are playing a vital role in saving lives. Now, Republican House Minority Leader Kurt Dowd responded after the governor's speech. He says the priority must be on protecting the health and safety of Minnesotans, but he also advocated for letting some people return to work. We certainly know and hear Minnesotans' frustrations uh, that that folks are uh, frustrated with the governor's executive orders and, and the impacts that they're having on people's livelihood and businesses. We appreciate the steps that Governor Walls has taken, and we'd like him to grant flexibility uh, to those who can work safely. So at the same time, Governor Walls sent a letter to President Trump because he is asking him to issue this as a major disaster declaration so that hopefully Minnesota can get some funds from the federal government to cover some of these costs like National Guard costs and setting up emergency shelters. But we'll have to wait on that for now. Gia.